Guys are asking me to look at some police shooting video and give my thoughts on it. So why would I be qualified to talk about it? Maybe I'm not, but before I was doing nerd holster business stuff, I was a police officer for 14 years. I was on SWAT and patrol and an instructor for firearms and for taser and for DT and a force science institute certified blah, 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 blah. Some people might think that qualifies them to talk about stuff in my experience. That probably doesn't as well. Um, it is helpful in the context of, of experience, but many people who have all of those certifications do not understand how to analyze things and think about things. So in the end, this is just a video and it's worth what you pay for it. I don't think I've seen this video before. I, apparently this is something that happened recently or was released recently. And so we'll see what happens. What? I mean, so the text on the thing kind of gives it away what happened, because um, I don't know that I would have known what happened. But so on the video, like it said, this police officer mistaked falling acorns for shots fired. Shots fired! Shots um, fired! Shots fired! I assume that's verified at this point. What is he shooting at? Is he shooting at his car? And he unloads his entire mag. What? So he had somebody arrested. They were in handcuffs in the back of his car and he was walking nearby or away from his car and an acorn hit the top of his car and he thought and then so he unloaded a mag wallowing around on the ground at his car that is hilarious and a travesty at the same time for context the guy in the car was totally uninjured okay well that's great More okay keep watching yeah. Oh, wow. Jesse! Jesse, are you okay? Get in the house! Get in the house! Jesse! Get back, get back! Where is he? Where is he? Oh, my. Make sure you keep the paper in your hand. Shots fired! Shots fired! I'm deputy down. No! Jesse, come back. Uh, uh, Mark, he has a right there. Dude, am I hit? <laughs> and my legs went numb when it okay. hit me. All right, all right. I don't know. My legs went numb for a second. I heard a pop come from. Go this way. Can you move? Yeah. Hang on. Hang on, buddy. Oh my. So she just had sympathetic. I mean, she shot as well. Yeah. Is what it looks like. Uh, oh my. You don't get to have sympathetic fire, right? When one person starts shooting. It's not time for everyone else to start shooting. You need, and and for, that's a thing that, like, needs to be learned. Like, I know tons of people in force on force training that have done that. Like, it, if you think about it, it actually kind of makes sense that you would have sympathetic fire, um, particularly if you work with people that you trust. But you are responsible for your bullets and their final resting place, and so you better make sure that when you pull the trigger, um, it's because you have not necessarily certainty but because that's also a ditch to fall into of people don't want to use force unless they have certainty but you have to have reasonable belief and someone else shooting in a direction is not reasonable belief biggest thing would be lack of awareness for the first officer is like something happened and he's not aware of it he's probably coming down off of an adrenaline dump would be my guess i don't know that for sure for sure i mean obviously they arrested somebody maybe that was a tense situation and he's in a situation where he's not able to process when he's got like hormones and stuff going on he's not able to process routine things like a nut falling from a tree like his physical preparedness 
is not there such that it's in it's interfering with his ability to process information so he just he needs to be aware of what's happening and what's ha happening to himself he's incompetent it's a good he's also incompetent with a gun so he didn't actually kill the guy um, like that's a good thing even if he was shot at obviously his reaction was like he was completely overloaded and was not able to process any information like wasn't able to process whether he was injured was wallowing around on the ground like incompetence compounds on itself and makes everything worse if you're a responding backup officer right like those guys like on the one hand you'd say what the heck are they doing with their rifles and stuff but like they only know what they know and they're gonna take the testimony of the two officers that were on scene that emptied their mags or at the at the acorns <laughs> like on the one hand there is hey, I feel bad for the guy, and you don't want to just like make fun of him or do whatever, but then there's also, like, stuff happens, and is he fit to be a police officer? Probably not. My experience as a police officer is consistent with this. Like, there are people who are cops that shouldn't be cops, ultimately. The standards for most government things um, are really low, particularly like the average police officer, the average soldier, the average, the average anything is very low. And there's a whole bunch of people, and it doesn't matter whether they're male, female, or whatever, they're just not fit to be in law enforcement. I don't know anything about that guy, I don't know his name, you know, but I'm guessing we could look at like PT tests and firearms quals and other stuff, and we could probably establish some sort of like history about that person. Like law enforcement qualifications are really, really low standards and a bunch of dudes show up and they can't pass them for the first time and it's really sad. Not that the qual is the end all be all, but the qual is a tell of whether someone is serious about their job, whether they have internalized certain aspects of their job and they show up to do business. Uh, and unfortunately a whole bunch of police officers have not, which is sad because there's a whole bunch of police officers that do, that are doing good work that are professional. For Tenacore, we talk about our customer be, being the professionally minded user and not the professional user. And this is why, like that guy and that gal, frankly, are not professionally minded in how they go about doing things. The right thing here though, is not just pile on and make fun of them. Um, that is not helpful. Like if you're not a police officer, then you should think about like, am I fit to carry a gun? Like you carry a gun and you do all these things and you do that because you're trying to be tough or are you carrying a gun because you feel compelled to protect yourself and the people you care about and then have you put the proper training and discipline in to do something with that, right? Because you could be just as much of a loser as that guy. Um, and then if you are a police officer or you're paid to carry a gun professionally, are you actually fit for duty? Do you have a you know, like the nominal level of PT, the nominal level of training and defensive tactics and firearms and patrol tactics to be able to go out and actually do your job and, um, and be successful, not just survive a fight, but be successful in a fight. Just because you go through training doesn't mean it causes an effect in your life. And that would be the case for most, or not most, but many in the government. You're jumping through hoops to jump through hoops to get certified to, to check a box and not to actually be better. So I guess the moral of the story is be a professionally minded user and don't suck at everything. So as funny as it sounds, I would say you should do some sort of physical fitness. It doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to be like some amazing athlete, but you should be doing something that allows you to under exertion, be able to process and think through things. You also need to do training where someone forces you to layer tasks not just training of, diff of the things that are comfortable for you in isolation, but you should always be doing training where somebody or somebody's are layering tasks on you that you can't handle anymore, that, that continues to push that. And the more experience you have with that, the more stuff you'll be able to handle. Because like we talked about, this awareness is probably the biggest issue. This guy's ability to process information under pressure. The pressure was enough that he was not able to determine that a nut fell from a tree. And he didn't necessarily even have to determine that a nut fell from a tree, but he at least needed to know that it wasn't a gunshot, right? That's what he needed to know. He could figure out that it's a nut later, but that's pretty important. Actual training, actual thoughtful training, and not the training that is like making you feel good about yourself, but the training that is pushing you into places that you are uncomfortable.